Victoria's Premier has welcomed a major boost in GST revenue, but says she'll continue to push for the no worse off guarantee to be permanent. Our Victorian political reporter Simon Love has more. It's somewhat ironic that Victoria is celebrating a larger share of GST revenue on the same day that the state government has unveiled the latest upgrade to Geelong's Cardinia Park. Critics have labelled the venue Pork Barrel Park because of various funding commitments from state and federal governments from all sides of politics to shore up seats in the area. This $142 million build of the Joel Selwood stand attracted the man himself and he acknowledged its completion is behind schedule. I'm grateful that uh, we have got governments that are willing to take a punt on a town like this too um, because I know that it means much more than just you know the footy that will happen here Saturday night. Victoria has also been punting on a larger share of GST revenue. The Commonwealth Grants Federation has kicked a big goal for Victoria at the expense of states such as New South Wales and Queensland who will receive a smaller share. New South Wales is being robbed of money so other states can be bailed out. It's not fair, it is absurd and it comes at the expense of the New South Wales citizens' rights to access first class services. Victoria will get a total revenue share of $23.5 billion in 2024-25. This massive increase is up from the $18.8 billion the previous year. There is still more work to be done when it comes to GST, which is why we'll continue to push for the no worse off guarantee to be made permanent by the Commonwealth Government, because it's not fair that Victorians are subsidising other states. You won't find me disagreeing that Victoria should get their fair share of GST returns. Uh, and we get that. We get that today. So stop taxing people. But the Premier wouldn't say if that would allow the government to adopt no new or increased taxes in May's budget. The budget's on the 7th of May and I'm pretty confident I'll be doing a number of media events between now and the 7th of May. Victoria's most recent financial update saw forecasts for net debt increase, but the Allen government believes that it's on a winner spending big in these regional communities.